Hey guys, so in this lecture, we'll be studying the properties of the Z-transforms. So first is the linearity property. So Z is equal, uh, Z of A into U N plus or minus B into V N is equal to A Z of U N plus or minus B of uh, B Z of U N. Okay, so this can be split in, in this way. So where A and B are arbitrary constants. For example, Z of 2 N plus 3 N square. That can be written as 2 into z of n plus 3 into z of n square. Okay? Next is the damping rule. Damping rule is nothing, uh, there's a change of scale. So if z of u n is equal to u of z, then z of a power n uh, minus n u n is equal to u of a z and z of a n u n is equal to u of a, z divided by a. Okay? So let's take an example. Over here, z of 2 power n into n is equal to u of z divided by 2 by using this property. That's a further equal to on further evaluation of this by using the formula that we have studied before. We'll get 2z divided by z minus 2 the whole square. So basically we know that uh, z of n is equal to z divided by z minus 1 the whole square. This we have proved before. So now what is given to us? So it's nothing but u of z. So therefore u of z is equal to z divided by z minus 1 the whole square. So what is u of z divided by 2? We are just going to divide this. So it will be z divided by 2 divided by z divided by 2 minus 1 the whole square. On further evaluation, what will you get? You will get this. Okay? So now multiplying by n, the next property is multiplying by n. Right? So if z of u n is equal to u of z, then z of n into the function u n is equal to minus z d by dz of u n, uh, of u z. This one we have already studied before also as a recurrence formula. Similarly, we'll have this as well. So z of u n, uh, z of n into u n is equal to minus z d by d, uh, dz of u z. So the general formula is z uh, into n power p u of n is equal to minus 1 to the power p z p uh, d p u z divided by dz power p. So that is nothing but the um, number of differentiations you have to make for the function. So for example, if the p value is 2, so you will have to double differentiate your function. Okay? Now, next will be division by n. So for division by n, it will be u n divided by n is equal to minus. So over here, when we are uh, doing differentiation, for uh, multiplication, we are doing differentiation. So for division, what will we do? We will do integration, right? So it will be minus integration of uz divided by z dz. So now, this is an important part. The shifting property. So there is the right shifting property and the left shifting property. In the right shifting property, if the z of un is equal to u of z, then z of un minus k is equal to z to the power minus k u of z where k, k is greater than 0. And the left shifting property is where u of n plus k is equal to z power k into u of z minus u naught minus u1 of z power minus 1 minus u2 z power minus 2 up to infinity, right? And so on and so forth, basically. So now, for example, your k is equal to 1. Then what do we get? You will get k is equal to 1 over here, u of z minus u naught. Okay. Now when z is equal to, uh, when k is equal to 2, what will you get? It will be z square u z minus u naught minus u1 z power minus 1. So the number of terms, so it will be z of u n plus 3 is equal to z power 3 u z minus u naught minus u1 z power minus 2 minus u uh, minus u2 z power minus 3. So that was our left shifting and right shifting properties. Now we'll be taking a problem.